Hi guys! Today's topic is my Vespa PX. I discovered that the right hand rear turn indicator does not work. Or at least it does not work all the time. Of course, I need to fix that urgently because it is not safe to drive the PX in a state like this. Look here, when I activate the right hand turn indicators, the front indicator works, but the rear one currently doesn't work at all. Okay, the first thing I want to check is the lamp inside. Two screws hold the cover. Ah, there it is. Um, it's hard to see if the filament is broken or not, but I can measure the lamp for continuity. You see and hear, the lamp itself seems to be okay. Maybe the lamp socket has a problem. I want to have a look on it. Um, no signs of corrosion or damage. Maybe I can discover a problem from the other side of the turn indicator. I want to test the positive connection of the lamp. I want to see if there is also continuity. Yes, looks good. Next, I want to check if the ground connection between the lamp and the spring contact works. Well, the connection is interrupted sometimes. It changes when I move the spring. Probably the area of the contact surface of the spring is dirty. I better clean the surface of the spring contact to ensure a solid connection. I do the same for the frame contact, of course. protect the metal surface from corrosion and to lubricate it, I apply some grease here. As well as there.
Now I want to see if that has solved the problem. The lamp works now! Yes! Happy days! But look! It went off again! Oh no! What the heck is going on here? Maybe the ground connection of the lamp is sketchy? I better check the area. It's a 7mm nut. That should work. There is the nut. It looks good. No visible corrosion. Also the area inside the engine cover looks fine. To keep it in good shape I will apply some grease here. Again, I want to see if that has cured the intermittent contact. Now it works.
Oh no, it's off again. So the issue is still not fixed. It's possible that a contact in the electrical path is dirty and makes an unreliable contact. I better clean them with isopropanol and test them. Oh yes, there is dirt inside. And I better check the sketchy connection at the spring contact in detail. To have a reliable test, I want to check it with the relevant current. For this, I use this battery and a separate lamp. I've connected the cables to the spring contact and use the other cable as a probe. When I connect the probe to the ground point, of the turn indicator, there is a proper connection. But I wonder how reliable this spring contact is. It can rotate within the bushing, and this is part of the electrical path. Well, it seems to provide a decent electrical connection. It is rotating a bit rough though. To improve that, I will apply some oil for lubrication and conservation. Now it moves smoother. When I now connect 12 volts to the corresponding contacts of the lamp, it works. Maybe there's a crack in the cable here. I want to see if wiggling on the cable makes the difference. But no, the cable seems to be okay. But look, when I wiggle on the bulb, it goes on and off. The lamp is several years old and the orange coating is cracked as well. I replaced the torn bulb with a new one. I also cleaned the center contact of the bulb socket.
to verify the lamp function, I connect 12 volt to the corresponding contacts. As you see, the lamp works now. Even when I wiggle on the bulb, it stays on. Maybe the center contact of the old bulb was faulty. Alright, that looks good here. I also replaced the other rear turn indicator bulb. Look how deteriorated the orange coating is. There are several cracks and the lacquer become brittle and peels off. But what can I say? After I have remounted everything, the right hand turn indicator does not work again. <laughs> can you believe it? Maybe the turn indicator switch is faulty. Thankfully, just one screw holds the switch in place. The cables and solder joints look good so far. I want to check if wiggling on the cable makes the difference. But no, all good here. Look here in the schematic. If I bridge the specific switch, the corresponding turn indicator should work when the switch is faulty. I want to try that. But no! The switch is not the culprit. The culprit must be somewhere else. As you can see on the schematic, the connection from the lamp goes to the connection hub, then to the switch. Now I need to check all connections and switches strategically. To get access to the connection app I need to demount the horn cover. When I disconnect the specific plug, I can test the violet cable for continuity from the plug to the switch. And yes, there is continuity. The remaining violet cable from the connection hub to the positive contact in the chassis is located inside the chassis. But I can test this connection for continuity as well.
And yes, also here is continuity. Now I have tested every single connection. What the heck is going on? Intermittent faults can be so mean. There is one last connection I have not checked in detail. And that is the ground connection from the lamp to the chassis. When I make a bridge connection from the starter ground to the internal lamp ground, the lamp should work if there is a fault within this ground connection. But no, the lamp is still off. That is definitely not the culprit. But look! The lamp was on for a short time. And look! When I wiggle on the bulb with a bit more force, the lamp is flickering again. So it was not the bulb the fault is somewhere inside the socket. Okay, if the fault is within the lamp, I will find it. I'm pretty happy that I finally found the defective part. Now the root cause analysis and repair will follow. But this video is already about 25 minutes long and that means up to 25 hours of hard video editing work for you. Yes, for you, in front of the screen. I think I definitely deserve a small donation from you to support my non-monetized channel. So please donate via PayPal to donatesurflues at gmx.net and add the subject donation to it. Thanks for that. If you're not already a valued subscriber, you now have the chance to become one. Stay tuned for more videos. Check also my playlists. You can find videos for tech nerds like you. Give me a thumbs up, write a nice comment, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.